We're in Monte Rosso and we're going to walk to Venazza, which are the northern villages of Cinque Terre. Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Ciao a tutti. We're in Monte Rosso and we're going to walk to Venazza, which are the northern villages of Cinque Terre. So this is um, supposedly the hardest bit of the, uh, the Azzurro walk along the coast because it's got 500 steps apparently so we'll count those and see if we can beat Positano uh, and it's the Cinque Terre is a sort of a mouthy coast of Liguria and this is October and it's still very warm and lots of people we thought we might have it to ourselves but I think Actually, that's a bit optimistic it's quite hot today it's very warm yeah. it's a lovely day Starting to walk, uh, what do we need? A cup of coffee. So let's have a cup of coffee in the bar and then start walking. How was your coffee? It was good, set me up for the walk. You always need a cup of coffee. I do. Me too. The shepherd is by the sea. And that is the beach in Monte Rosso. We started our trip from Monte Rosso al Mare. We parked the car in the large car park and cost varies according to the season. Check the link in the description box. Cinque Terre is also served by a railway line and you can buy a day ticket that allows you to hop on and off the trains. There are also ferries that link the villages. And today, this is our favorite option to return to Monte Rosso. You can also get by train to Cinque Terre from Genoa or from La Spezia. In the winter months, check if the paths are closed due to maintenance or bad weather. Then you need proper shoes. No flip flops. Okay. We are on the path now. There are steps, but they're not too bad. High steep, but okay.
Grazie. Grazie mille. Are they steep? Uh, they're okay. Yeah, not too bad so far. I have a crack rib, so it might be a... Uh, <laughs> not bad anything. But we can see if we're as good as Nikki Positano from her channel. Uh. We're not even allowed to use that yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, that was a bit steep. <laughs> and that is the ticket office. Let's see how much we pay. So it is about 3,230 meters, so it's about two miles. Lots of different combinations. Yeah. Should we yeah. eat it? Well, no, because I don't think the train costs too yeah. much to go back, does it? No, it's just yeah. five, 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 five euros. Five euros a person. Gems are not always equal, so. Uh. Oh, the, uh... <laughs> Look, yeah, there's the monorail. Ah, yes, so we got the, the monorail, and they. they yeah. Harvest the grapes with oh. the monorail. Uh, monorail. All right. Yeah, yeah wow. Well. Oh, you're going to get one of the people, isn't it? No. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. There's water here. That's why we see all these canes. And when it rains, these just become yeah. like... Torrential. So. They do. What's the wine they produce here? Vernaccia, I call it. It's terribly good. It's a white wine. Vermentino, anche, sì. Look at it, that's a little paradise on earth there. Look at the pumpkin. Yeah. And the oranges. This is the other side of Cinque Terre where people just have their patches of land that they've had for generations and um, lead an ordinary life away from tourists. Yes, I know they have water here because they got this, how do you call this in English? It's a kind of trench with the... The problem is that they get overflown and they cause um, landslides Yes, in the but they also are good because they can have land, they can have... Uh, um, irrigation? Water, water for the yeah, irrigation for the t uh, fields there. You have to be aware of in this part is that the steps are not equal. They're, They're the very steps. uneven as well. So you have to be careful. Mm. Not a bad little corner for a swimming pool down there. Well, there's a beautiful pool actually down there. You don't need a swimming pool here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this steps. So you can see that the steps are very uneven. Yes. So be very careful. <laughs> this is bit is quite narrow as well. So uh, the first bit, the first 15 minutes is the hardest bit. And uh, you do need shoes that support you really because uh, it's unstable. Yes, and the oasis uneven, uneven, very uneven steps. And they're different uh, size, the steps. There. Yeah, they, they are a different size. So if you're not used to walking and you do need a basic fitness. Yes. Mm. I mean, we're quite fit. I mean, we're okay so far. Well, we live in the mountains, but not everybody <laughs> does. A bit easy today. This is supposed to be one of the beautiful uh, views from Cinque Terre. And you can see that other villages uh, along the coast on a line. So we now get to Vernazza, which is the second one from the west. These Cinque Terre villages lie east of Genoa. Yes, and they are between uh, 
Germany and La Spezia on the La Spezia side. And that is another beautiful view. So farming here isn't exactly easy. It's all terraced. And getting your roof tiles here isn't that easy either. Well, probably the back of a donkey, as they do in Positano. Maybe. Yeah, it's beautiful here. There's a road down, you know, path down from the top. Yes. It's amazing how many people there are, and, and it's October, middle of October, and really, I mean, in the summer it must be pretty crowded and pretty difficult to pass at certain places. I hope they keep a kind of... Close numbers. Yes, because know. otherwise well, it may be so dangerous. I mean, because if you get too many people on a narrow strip, they might fall down into the sea. Later we ask if they keep a close number and they say no. So be aware that in the high season this can be very crowded and the path is very narrow at certain points. So the wine here, as you can think of, olive trees and a lot of fruit I've seen. Also citrus fruit, the oranges and the lemons. See, I spoke too early, we're going up again here. And these are actually, those steps are quite steep and uh, uneven, even worse than the previous ones. I think we eventually got to the top. So now coming down and look at the view. That kind of pole? Yes, with all these padlocks. I mean, you might know that to do with the, the love locks, how they call them in English. I don't, I don't know. know what they call it. If you love somebody, then you make with a lock here. I always speak too early. I thought we made it to the top, and now we're going up again. What do you think, Sia? Have we got to go up to. You, you go up and down, don't you? Uh, it seems to go up when you're going down.
prickly pears. Any fruit? No. Mm, too late. Ah, what is that? Colonia Felina. So this is a protected cat sanctuary. Okay, the name is some pictures there. But no so, cats. No cats. I think they're down probably in the shade or sleeping. Oh, I don't think it's time to hunt now. I'm going up again. Yeah, what is that thing on your head? Uh? So it's one of the bits of the monorail that are used to hold the cigarette. Do you wish you had a boat like that, Celia? No. <laughs> Even though I'm out to sea captain. <laughs> So you may not want a boat, but you must admit that messing about in a boat down there is quite nice. Yeah, I need a crew. <laughs> you are the crew. No, 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 no. Oh, she? <laughs> We made it to Vernazza. Yeah. Very, very Imagine pretty. how amazing it must have been 50 years ago. Yes, we know clouds. Now we are in the village, we got into Vernazza. Yes, yes, well by the pier because we I remember the the boat mooring here. Yeah. Now the brave one can swim, but I'm actually my priority is a good lunch.
No, I just uh, the last one. Next time we have to do. We have to check the roof. Yeah. 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 Attenzione ai piedi! Buonasera! Ciao a te! If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps us enormously with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much.